Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to do a quick video today on Matthew 6, 34, which Jesus is talking and he says, do not worry about tomorrow. Okay, in this verse, he doesn't say worry about tomorrow or he doesn't say, if you feel like it, don't worry about tomorrow or if it's convenient or if it makes sense, no, he just says, do not worry about tomorrow. This is so important. And I know a lot of you, when you see this, you may just say, oh yeah, that's one of those spiritual things. That's not really practical. I can never do that, but you can. How do I know this? Because the Holy Spirit lives in you. And if the Holy Spirit lives in you, then this is possible. It's very possible. Okay, so he says, do not worry about tomorrow. Why does he say, do not worry about tomorrow? Have you ever read Martha and Mary in Luke 10? Look at Martha. That's how you're going to be if you worry about tomorrow or if you worry about anything. You're going to be all stressed and miserable, okay? Another reason he doesn't want you to worry at all, but in this verse specifically about tomorrow is because, well, first of all, wherever there's worry, that the root of that is fear, and wherever there is fear, the Holy Spirit is not there. So you are allowing fear to take the place of the Holy Spirit in you in whichever places and how deeply you are worrying at all. But about tomorrow, why not worry about tomorrow? Another reason is because you are stealing from today. Right now, when you worry about tomorrow, let's say for one minute right now, I'm just going to worry about tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay. For that whole minute, I have wasted my time. I've wasted my energy. I've wasted my thoughts. And I have let fear come in the place of faith during that timeline where I could have been doing the will of God. I could have been doing the will of God. So in this what we're seeing that happens when we worry, Satan is taking territory in your life where God deserves to be. Okay? That's basically what's happening. You're submitting to the devil is what you're doing. And you are not trusting God. So why does he say one of the reasons why do not worry about tomorrow? Because you're stealing from today. Time, energy, whatever it is. And in that place, during that time that you're worrying, the Lord could have been doing so many things. So Satan is stealing not just your joy, but the will of God in your life when you choose to worry about tomorrow. So if we're going to choose not to worry about tomorrow and say, Lord, Matthew 6, you tell me not to worry about tomorrow. I can't do this. I need help. You never worried about tomorrow when you were here and you live in me. So can you please teach me how not to worry about tomorrow? See, this is really a boundary issue. Because if you have yesterday, uh, today, and tomorrow, yesterday has already happened, right? Today is happening right now. And tomorrow is not here yet. It doesn't exist yet in our dimension. It doesn't exist yet. We don't know what it is. See, God has allowed us to be able to experience today and to remember yesterday. He could have allowed us and wired us to experience today and to be able to see the future, but we could never remember the past. But he didn't do that. He did not let us know what the future was. And because we don't know it, that is God land. We have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. The world could blow up, figuratively, in a sense. That means anything could happen, right? So tomorrow is God land because it's not your territory, because you're not in it yet. This territory has not been given to you yet until you wake up tomorrow morning. So I'm saying that this is a boundary, an internal boundary that you're going to have to enforce because 
Yesterday has happened. Today is happening. We don't know about tomorrow. We may not, some of us may not even wake up in the morning. We don't know. Believers die every night in their sleep. And we do not know that. So we are presuming on God when we worry about tomorrow. We are presuming on on God and on his plan when we do that. There are other things we're doing too. But let's just think of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Put a boundary between today and tomorrow. There's a big boundary that needs to be there. Because when you don't have this boundary, you're letting Satan into your life with fear and worry. And he's taking up space, taking up time, taking up energy, and taking up that place where the will of God could be being done in your life. So how do we not worry about tomorrow? First of all, we say, Lord, I'm really worrying about tomorrow and I don't want to do it. Would you please help me? I don't want to worry about tomorrow. I do want to learn not to worry about tomorrow. Would you please take me from here to there and make me willing to would make would take whatever the steps are to get me from here to there? Thank you that you're going to help me. Listen and follow and seek him and get into it with him. And he will make you a master of this. He will. He's done this with me on many issues. That's just all I did. I said, I don't have it. I want it. Show me how to get it. Make me willing. And he's like, sure. Okay, so how do we do this? There are many ways. And the Lord will show you in your own particular circumstance and wiring and everything for how you to do it, but these are some tips that can help you. You're gonna move in your heart and mind, in your inner being. You're gonna move from control, uh, gong, we don't want this. This is not our, this is not what God has for us. That's not God's will for us, okay? Self-control is the only control we're given in the scriptures, so forget about control. Okay, you want to move from control or leave it behind, release it over time as much as you can to dependence. Dependence is what we want, to depend on the Lord because he is in control and we are not in control. When we think we are, we are deceived and we're letting the enemy really be in control when we do that. Okay, also we're going to give up having to know everything. Oh, I have to know everything. See, that is a problem. If you think you have to know everything to survive or to be successful or to be prepared, the Lord will give you everything you need. He will give you everything you need. This is a, can be a waste of energy and can cause worry because when you try to know everything, you're going to be grabbing a lot of information and stuff that you don't need that's going to take up the space where God would have been wanting you to show you something else. And a lot of the extra stuff is going to be stuff that's going to feed the worrying about tomorrow. That's going to feed all this kind of stuff. So be very discerning here. All of you uh, information kind of people, be very discerning and only go where the Lord's telling you to go. Give up. Wave the white flag. Trying to be God. Stop trying to be good and you know, work on this on your own, thinking you can perform it, and give up trying to be God by trying to know everything. God knows everything. We don't have to know everything because we know the one who does, okay? We can make our plans. We can make plans, in, uh, you know, 50 years in advance if we want. Make all kinds of plans. But they are tentative, and they are submitted to the Lord, if you will. They're submitted to him, and he can edit them however he wants. And so be flexible as you go into the next day. You wake up, and, oh, everything's different, or, oh, plans have changed, or society has changed, or whatever. Uh, just be flexible. Okay, whatever happens, prepare me to accept whatever it is that I have to do, because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, and you told me not to worry about it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Help me to be flexible and accept and be prepared for whatever is going to happen because he knows. Okay, also, we're going to want to trust God's sovereignty. He's in control of all of this. We are not. We're not meant to be in control, okay? We're going to trust God's prophetic plan. Has every single prophetic um, or prophecy 
that has been given, has every single one come to pass perfectly at the exact time? Yes. Have any of the prophecies not happened as they said they would and at the exact time? No. So you know that because that has been that way before, it's going to continue to be that way. You can be confident in that. You can bet your life on that, in fact. And in this, you're going to trust God to guide you. Show me what to buy. Show me what to sell. Show me what to do. Show me what not to do. You know, show me what to say. Show me what not to say. Just walk in the Holy Spirit. Listen and follow Him. Okay, that's literally all you need to do for the rest of your life. I'm just trying to kind of get you there, little baby step by baby step. Trust God to provide for you. Are you worrying about toilet paper? Are you worrying about traveling? Are you worrying about something? You don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. Ask God to discipline you in the area where you're worrying. And ask God to discipline you and teach you in the area where you're worrying about tomorrow because it is not necessary. You're interfering in God's plan for you when you worry at all and when you worry about tomorrow. It is a waste of energy and a waste of time. Another point is trust God to be who he is. And he is who he says he is, not who people say he is, okay? Trust God to be who he is. Be confident in him. Be confident in him. Bet your life on his word. Bet your life on his spirit. Be confident in the Lord. This is not a time to be wimpy and afraid. This is a time to be confident in the Lord, y'all. He has us born in this time for a reason. We're not here just by mistake or by lottery. No, he has purposefully had us be born at this time. Okay, so receive that. Receive it. You're meant to be here. And this is so important. And this is the way, one of the best ways to get you to stop worrying about anything, much less tomorrow, is your focus. Remember on a lot of videos I've talked about wherever you focus, that's where you're going to go. And my husband rides these dirt bikes in the motorcycles in the woods on the weekends. And he has to focus on the trail. Because if he focuses on the trail, that's where he's going to go. If he focuses on a tree, he's going to crash into the tree. So you have to focus on where you want to go. And when you're focusing on the Lord only, this will cause you to do the most of the will of God in your whole life. The most of the will of God. You'll be filled and walking in the most of the Holy Spirit that you can. You will be, um, this is just such a huge strategy, guys. This is, I just can't tell you how powerful and important this, this last point is right here. Focus on the Lord. Hebrews 12, 2 tells us to keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. That doesn't mean to say, oh yeah, Lord, you're over there. Let me go do this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh yeah, are you still there? I'm going to do some things over here. Oh yeah, are you still there? No, it means to fix your eyes on him and don't ever look away. Don't ever look away. Why not? Because when you fix your eyes on the Lord, he is giving you all of his energy. He's giving you his ideas. He's giving you everything you need. There is a supernatural power in focusing on the Lord, and I'm trying to help you move toward that, experiencing that. Also, Isaiah 26, 3, this can be your litmus test, okay? I, the Lord, will keep whoever in perfect peace, perfect peace, those who, who think on the Lord all day long. is basically what he's saying. I will keep you in perfect peace, those whose minds are steadfast on the Lord. Okay, this can be a litmus test for you here, right here. Here's your litmus test, right here. Perfect peace. Are you in perfect peace? Well, you need to do some work in your heart. You need to come over here and say, Lord, I'm not here. I want to be here. This is a time where you want to be in perfect peace. And perfect peace will keep you from worrying about tomorrow. 
when you focus on the Lord, you will be in perfect peace. When you focus on the Lord all the time, He will keep you in perfect peace. All right? There's a lot of stuff, a lot of distractions in the world, a lot of meaningless distractions, a lot of lies. If you're on the computer a lot, you're going to find a lot of lies. And any truth you do find, the people who are lying will say, that's not true, you know. It's just a back and forth uh, mess. So come on over here. Enter into reality. You are in Christ, and Jesus Christ is on the throne, and he is your God. Okay, that's reality. So come over here and focus on him. Keep your eyes fixed on him, and do it all the time. And this will be your life right here. You'll have perfect peace. Litmus test. Do I ever not have perfect peace? Alert, alert. What is my mind doing? What is my mind doing? Am I worrying about tomorrow? Go through all of these things when you think you're going to start to worry. Notice and remember that you're stealing from today. Move toward dependence. Just be discerning with this. Be flexible. Trust in God's sovereignty, His prophetic plan, His guidance, His provision, His nature of who He is. He will be the God that He is. Just give Him room. Give Him room and be confident in Him to act on your behalf. And focus, focus, focus on the Lord and move toward perfect peace. Maybe for five minutes, then maybe for an hour, then maybe for half a day, then maybe for a day, then for a week. You know, just grow in this perfect peace. Because it's there. It's purchased for you. It's yours. It's just like the Sabbath rest. It's there. It's waiting for you. You just have to say, that's mine, and take it. You know, that, that's what we have to do. We have to take what is ours, okay? So I don't want this to be too long, but I'm just encouraging you not to worry about tomorrow because today has enough problems of its own, and I don't want the enemy stealing from your today by worrying about tomorrow. That's what we don't want, okay? So I hope this makes sense to somebody, and I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead you in self-control and in your focus and in learning to be thankful for today, be present in the current day, and be thankful for the Lord taking care of you, and keep your eyes focused on Him, and that will help you not to worry about tomorrow. All right, y'all have a great day and I'll see you soon.